week, Egyptians from all walks of life held demonstrations across the country. They were protesting against the government's economic policies and its crackdown on dissent. While high unemployment, poverty and political instability still plagues this country, economists all agree. Egypt has the potential to become a powerful emerging economy in the world. Many businesses across the continent are seizing the moment to get in and be part of that success story. Well, joining me in studio now is the newly appointed CEO, Thibaut Weich of Mortimer Harvey's Africa Middle East office. Welcome to Leading Opinion. Great to have you on the show today. Thank you. Hello. Now, there's this polar opposite of sentiment taking mm. place in Egypt right now. On the one hand, you have ordinary Egyptians that are feeling hopeless, very disillusioned mm -hmm. because of high unemployment and poverty. And on the other hand, there's the sense of optimism and excitement coming through from the business side. You being there, perhaps you could give us more input about this mixed sentiment that's taking place in Egypt. Thank you. I, I'm not a political expert, but from my own experience on the ground in Egypt, yes, there are a lot of challenges. It is a country which is in transition following the, the first years of the Arab Spring. But there is a lot of hope and there is a lot of future in the country. You know, all my friends tell me Egypt is a country that has existed for more than 6,000 years. Mm -hmm. So it will remain, it will prevail, and it will become a huge success story. Some people are frustrated, impatient. There are a lot of challenges. Um, in everyday life for a lot of people, but at the same time there is a lot of hope. Mm -hmm. We see stability being restored gradually uh, compared to what we had, let's say, two years ago. It's a much better situation now and political stability or stability in the street brings business back. Mm -hmm. Now not only Egyptians are starting to invest again in their own country, but we also see people coming from abroad and seeing the potential and starting again mm -hmm. to see the bright side of things in Egypt and setting mm -hmm. up new businesses or developing existing businesses in the region. It's very interesting how strife always gives life to hope and to change. Now, Egypt is the continent's second mm -hmm. largest economy, but like Nigeria, that gap between the rich and the poor is very wide. You are mm -hmm. the newly appointed CEO of this company, um, setting up office mm -hmm. in Cairo. So obviously you seeing a lot of opportunity and you spoke about investment and how you know foreign companies are seeing this need to 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 mm. invest in Egypt what is the biggest draw card from your perspective to want to invest in Egypt well it is it is the largest uh, arab country by population it is the second largest consumer market in africa after nigeria with more than 90 million inhabitants and a large business uh, a large middle class in uh, which is located primarily in the cities Cairo, Alexandria. So, and these people, this middle class is growing, mm -hmm. and people, with the growing of the middle class, like elsewhere in the region, there are a lot of business opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, Cairo also and Egypt is, is a very good hub from a business perspective to conduct business in the region, in Northern Africa, in Sub-Saharan Africa, and in the Middle East at mm -hmm. large. It is very well connected to Johannesburg and to all, of, all other key cities in Africa and also in, uh, in Europe mm -hmm. and the Middle East. So from a location point of view, it is a very good place to be mm -hmm. if one wants to run a business across the region. Mm -hmm. um, the is market is very interesting and now as well, with the growing potential and the Af Africa's awakening and becoming sure. a very interesting uh, mm -hmm. area in the world from an economic point of view, also the Egyptian government is actively supporting Egyptian business to look south and to go into sub-Saharan Africa mm -hmm. and, and make the most for them and their clients in this part of the world. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I have European companies talking to me and who are seeing Egypt again as a natural springboard into the region. So there are a lot of opportunity. It's a crossroad as Egypt always was in history. It's mm -hmm. a very open country and it's becoming a crossroad again uh, for the region, linking Europe with Africa and the Middle East. And that's quite a unique position. Mm -hmm. This coupled with a very large market at home, I think gives a lot of, um, gives me hope and a strong belief to see really the, at the bright side of things and being absolutely confident that today's challenges and difficulties will be overcome. Mm -hmm. No doubt Africa is the new growth frontier and everybody's looking to Africa. Egypt's part of that story as well. What sort of clientele are we looking at? In, uh, I think that, of course, there are all, all the, the, the potential. Africa is a very rich continent for natural resources. So you have mm -hmm. a lot of those um, mineral mining and natural resource companies, also agriculture looking into the country. What 
particularly for Morty Mojave as a, as a marketing and communications agency is really interesting, is everything related to consumer and growth of this middle class that is mm -hmm. doubling in number across the continent every now and then. And these people demand products, demand services at the highest global standard possible. They know what is available elsewhere and they want the best for them and they're right to do so. Mm -hmm. So there is, a, there is a huge opportunity in uplifting the game, upskilling ourselves and the businesses to deliver what people really demand in Africa. They mm -hmm. don't want second class products. They want the best and they deserve the best. Mm -hmm. And we're here to help our clients delivering the best products, the best offerings, the best possible way um, wherever they want to go on the continent. Are consumers the same everywhere in the world? Are Egyptian consumers different when it comes to being brand conscious? I found people brand conscious everywhere. Um, of course, there are local subtleties and local sentiments that need to be, to be accounted for. And this is why our approach is very local. We are a company rooted in South Africa and now in Egypt and moving uh, globally. We have experience as a company dealing in several African markets already. And our learning is really that the local ingredient is key because there is not only one Africa, there are Africas. Like there is not only one Europe, there are many Europes. Like Egypt is not the same as Saudi Arabia or Algeria. There are big, big, big differences. And that's very interesting that you're saying that because a lot of people, even though Cairo and Johannesburg are just, they're just one flight away from each other, a lot of people traveling to Cairo from Johannesburg say that it's, it's a culture shock to get to Egypt because of the differences, especially, you know, when it comes to doing business, mm. the culture comes into play. It is. Yes, it is a cultural shock, but the cultural shock is also very stimulating. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is giving new ideas, new ways of looking at things. And out of the stimulation, one sees opportunities and then transform them into real business mm -hmm. in the future. So I'm really excited by those shocks. Mm -hmm. I, I work myself in more than 15 different countries in the region of the past 12 years, really being on the ground. Mm -hmm. And every country is different. And within each country, take for example, Nigeria or Congo, there are many different components in these, in these countries. So those are diverse in themselves. One has to go with a sense of humility and I always say, okay, knowing the history is a little bit, is, is very helpful. And also coming with like, with an empty floppy disk in the hand and just taking in, deciphering, receiving yes. the input from, a, from the people one has mm -hmm. to work with on the ground. And that's how the magic comes, especially when it comes to marketing and advertising. So our approach is really working closely with local partners. Mm -hmm. We select with our clients, for our clients helping our clients team deliver across mm -hmm. the, the marketing delivery chain from strategy down to sales, basically, mm -hmm. through product development, through pricing, through all the communication package, and making sure that all of that plays a nice music that will, that will attract consumers, that will attract the clients and make our clients succeed. Mm, I like the way you put it, you know, that's how the magic comes. You know, you have to be humble, you have to be willing to learn about mm. new cultures. What I learned about the Egyptian culture is that they're very hospitable, they're very warm people. Mm. In Johannesburg, you're in a rush to get to a meeting. When you get there, you stick to the agenda and you get to the point. But the Egyptians take a long time to get to the point because they're busy entertaining you and talking to you and exchanging gifts. Is that correct? Yes, well, not exchanging gift all the time, but it's true that there is a different way to go around things. Mm -hmm. But at the end, you're right, I, I perceive the Egyptians as being extremely hospitable, extremely welcoming, open to the world. And what I personally, as a foreigner living in Egypt for many, many years, what I also mm -hmm. like is that to me, it's a country where nothing is impossible. Sometimes it looks chaotic, sometimes there are rules, sometimes there are things people don't comprehend or there are lots of things I don't understand still today. But there is always a way around, there is always a way to make it happen. And one receives a lot of help from all directions, from all corners um, to get things happening. And, and this is why the, doing it the right way with this humble attitude, actually business can strive and business will thrive. Mm -hmm. And definitely Egypt is the one reason that makes Africa very special because of its rich history. We wish you all the best in your endeavor as the new CEO of Mortimer Harbour for the Africa Middle East office. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much indeed.